This is Evelyn with Magellan College Counseling, and I'm here today with Dana Klitzner, who is our transfer specialist. She works with basically all the um, uh, students who uh, make inquiries to Magellan who are interested in transferring. Um, and she's worked with students who've transferred from a community college to a four-year, including UCs, Cal States, and private and out. Uh, outside of California uh, public uh, universities. And also she's worked with students who've transferred from a four-year to another four-year. So we're gonna kind of divide the conversation into two parts. Um, and the blog post has a little bit more information for you to follow, including some links. Um, but let's first talk about community college. So Dana, thank you for chatting with me about this today. Um, uh -huh. We appreciate your expertise. So let's talk about community college for a minute. And we happen to be in California, but obviously there's community colleges all over the country. So for what kind of student is a community college a good place to start their college experience? So if you have a student in, a, in 11th or 12th grade, not really sure where they wanna go or what they wanna study, and they're thinking about taking a gap year or they're just really unsettled and they feel like they're being pushed a little too quickly, this is something to consider. It's a great way for a student to really take their time to study their lower division, um, English, math, maybe they're struggling in a certain subject, they can catch up a little bit, maybe they're really strong and they're gonna go into the honors program at a community college, whatever it may be, um, there's a, a concise way to transfer. And so that could be from, two years of community college to a public school in your local area and or a private college in your state or out of state. And there's exactly precise ways to do it depending on their major. And some are simply still undecided, which is a different route altogether. So some community colleges in California have um, a better reputation than others for transfer success rate. But many of the community colleges that I've seen students go through um, it's very difficult for them to get the credits they need in the time that they think that they expect um, to complete those credits in. Why is that? It is. Um, some, it depends on the major, first and foremost. Sometimes it's impacted and the cost, they don't have enough classes offered. So then you go from community college to community college, meaning you can be one college full time and taking a class at another local community college nearby. Um, there's a there's a will, there's a way. It's still very possible and very comfortable to accomplish, you know, the task at hand. It's just a matter of juggling a little bit and getting the right advice as well. Yep. Is um, I, I don't work with mo transfer students anymore, really. So um, there used to be a website that would help you, at least if you're transferring in California, that would help you determine which classes would successfully transfer. Is Is there still a resource like that? There are resources like that, but mo first and foremost, because the most important aspect of this whole thing is to get a hold of an I get the form, which is at, at each community college. They're a little bit different at each community college, depending on the course number. So okay. you have to just take a look at that. Um, you go through there and you match up um, what you need to take. And depending on what classes you've taken at in your high school will depend on what English and math you're taking at the community college level. And then from there, um, you just, you know, try to accomplish your 60 units in two years and sometimes two and a half, three, but there is a way to do it in two years. And um, I get C, just for people who don't know the alphabet soup that we know, is intersegmental general education transfer curriculum. Can you tell us kind of what it means exactly? So for our UC and state schools, it's an actual connection to finishing your lower division academics in order to then go into your upper division classes when you attend a four-year college, whether it be a state or UC and or a private. What if you are interested in starting at a community college for whatever reason, you don't want to leave home, you don't want to go far away, and but you okay. don't want to go to a UC or a Cal State. You want to go out of state, you want to go to a private. How does that, can, can I transfer out of state before two years, before 60 credits? You can. Some schools will take you at 30. Okay. Um, and and um, I've actually seen 26 to 30, um, mostly 30. And okay. um, again, it depends on your major. Some schools still require you to take certain classes before you transfer. So that may 
land you at a community college for a year and a half. Um, it all depends on your major and the school. Every school has different requirements, and so you have to read their website yep. and really know what you're what you're committing to. And things change all the time, so you have to be on your toes. Things change all the time, um, the but time. The, but the truth is the two year requirements change. The yeah. two year um, to for to, the two year to UC pathway is very very clear right if you do certain things you basically have a guarantee that you will transfer successfully to almost any of the ucs yes any but not necessarily the one that you want to transfer to so they're right. what they're saying to you is the guarantee program is we can guarantee you if you commit to taking these courses we will guarantee you a spot at one of our uc campuses but not right. necessarily the one that you want to go to and but each campus has different requirements for different for their majors it's right. not the same. The, the prerequisites are a lot are very different at each campus. So isn't there a program through the UCs that guarantees you a seat as a transfer, as a junior transfer into one of the UC campuses? Yeah. So with the tag application, you have to meet all the requirements, which includes the classes, the GPA, and some of the UC campuses are not part of the program. So you have to look carefully. It's also per major. Some majors are excluded. So you have to pay close attention and again, close attention to the GPA and the requirements. Every UC campus is different. Yep. And the other thing to pay attention to is uh, most of the UC campuses don't do spring admission, right? So if you can't finish those 60 units by the end of your second year, you have to go a whole other year. Right. And also you have to make sure you get your TAG application done first and then your UC application goes in and everything has to be done by the due date. Yep. What, yep. So for students who are making the choice to go to community college and with the hope of transferring either to a UC or somewhere else, what right. is... What is your best piece of advice as they're getting started at community college? You know, it's the same as high school in the sense that you want to have rigor. You want to get all your math, English, sciences out of the way. You want to leave room. If you're a business major to take extra business classes, then really, you know, show them that, hey, I'm the one you want at your school. You're really selling yourself. So you're making a whole package as a transfer student that you did as a senior. And they're also looking for you to be out in the community, whether it be working or volunteering and, and you may be on a sport that you're going to continue on. They want to see you out and about and, and doing your best, not only academically, but as part of the, you know, part of your community. Yeah. And community colleges have sports and clubs and everything. Everything. Yeah. They're so well equipped and we don't realize how many um, things they have going on on campus. Yep. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So well. So let's talk now about what if you made the choice to go to a four-year college, university, and you, for some reason, decided that was it wasn't the right choice for you. What are the steps and um, what do you need to get done um, to transfer? So your best bet is if you're considering coming home after one semester, if you can make it the whole year, my the best bet is to finish your year out and do the best you can. Um, and then if you're really looking to go to a specific school, you really know that you want to change majors and or keeping your major, your best bet is to come back to your local community college and do a year at, you know, your local community college and then continue on and apply to the new, the school of choice. Um, that is that that's if you're interested in applying to a UC or a Cal State. Is that what you're saying? You know, that's actually if you're interested in applying to any school of it, it really, that's the best bet for any school. But if you also want to go from four year to four year, yeah. um, you just know that it's a little difficult in the sense that as long as you have a good GPA, you'll get accepted somewhere, but you're going to lose a lot more of your college units. Ah. Because the school has different classes for different majors and different, you know, lower division requirements. And so not all of your um, units are going to transfer. Not everything will transfer. Okay. You end up being like, a, you end up being a fifth year senior unless you take summer school the rest of your, the duration. Yeah. yeah. Which, which is fine. Nobody, nobody's going to oh, yeah. care. How many years you're whatever your journey is and whatever works. For, absolutely. Right. 
One of the things a lot of uh, California families don't realize is that the UCs and Cal States prioritize community college applicants as yeah. transfers, right? So if I decide I'm going to University of Arizona and then I realize I don't want to be here, I want to apply to a UC, your advice, come home, go to a community college is really going to make you a more competitive applicant. Absolutely, absolutely. All my students that are out and about now that have transferred will tell you Dana was right. You know, just come back, do your lower division, and then transfer to school of choice. And again, it's not just applying to one or two. You really need to apply to 10 to 12 to 15 schools to be able to have a couple of choices because it's so busy in the transfer sector. It's very yeah. busy. A lot, of, a lot of students are taking that route. A lot of students moving around. Um, yeah. And and go back to um, we we get a lot of calls in October uh, and sometimes November from parents whose students just started at the four year college or university they chose they were excited about it six months before they you know got there they're not making friends something's going wrong the academics are not what they expected why is your advice to stick it out for a full year if you possibly can well because. You want to give it. You want to give it a try. You don't want to just leave a few months after you started a college or university. You want to see how best it can work for you. But if you're not happy socially and things aren't working out, that's just as important as academics. So my suggestion is to give it the year. You can, if you know for sure you're coming back after a semester, you can definitely go to community college um, your spring semester and then just be at community college for a year and a semester. That's no problem. But I like students to give it a try at least at least a year. Some some yeah. students are settling in in the spring and go, oh, I really like it here. So, um, but if it's that detrimental and it's not working, only you know what works for you and come on back. And yeah. by the way, it's not failing at coming back. It's trying something. Didn't really know myself, learning to know myself and making a change. That's all it is. Parents yeah. get all, of, all upset and worried and there's no need to no need to worry about it. It's a it's and no a need to cons time. consider it a failure. That's that's Absolutely. very true. Yeah, yeah. Just and and I have to say, I got a call last year in October from a parent of a freshman. Um, it was like mid October, so she'd been there maybe a month and a half, maybe seven weeks, and they were like, "Oh my gosh, she's not making friends. She's so unhappy. Um, we need to talk about transferring." And I said, "Do me a favor. I said, let's let's just wait till the end of the semester. Let's just get through the semester." And guess what? I never heard back from them. So she's 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 doing okay. Some, some students take a little extra time to settle in. I just had a student transfer from U of A to Chapman, and she ended up staying the whole year, but she still transferred. She's still transferring to Chapman this fall. And she said she ended up making some really good friends, and they're traveling together this summer. But she still wants to leave, and you know, it's like so she made a ton of friends, and that's super important for young yeah. adults. You know? Yeah, it's very true. It's very true. Um, you love working with this particular um, segment of the applying group. Why is that? You know, it's um, they're learning about themselves and it's just so much fun to be on that road with them. And just I, I learned so much from them. And, you know, it's just um, it's just a great age development and social. It's just so much fun. And I think because my kids are grown and they're out of the house and I feel like I have babies every year. I think it's, you know, that much fun. They're, my, they're all my babies. And then they keep in touch with me and tell me that they're happy and successful and just thriving. It makes me so happy. That's great. That's great. Um, all right. Well, we've put much more information in this blog post, but we hope that that answers some of the questions you have about transferring. Um, right. Thank you, Dana, for sharing your advice with us. You have one more piece of advice you want to throw out? No, just, for parents not to worry and relax and let the process play out. And there's always little bumps in the road, but it's just a time for your student to grow. And if yeah. there's any questions, I'm here. Fabulous. All right. And we'll put the information about how to contact us at the bottom of the post. Great. Fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. Me.